We gather in the presence of God to remember on November the 11th, 1918, after more than four years of horrific fighting and the loss of million lives, the guns on the Western Front fell silent. The armistice and agreement to end the fighting of the First World War as a prelude to peace negotiations began at 11 a.m. that day. We commit ourselves to continue to work in penitence and faith for recon reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who, in bereavement, disability and pain, continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in the world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. And we all say, we will remember them. Our two minute silence will begin now.
Let us pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace. For the servicemen and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known to God, may God give peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss, may God give peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free, may God give peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends, and all who pray for their safe return, may God give peace. For civilian women, children, and men whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatred of humanity, may God give peace. As a veteran, I'd like to thank you all for your continued support. When you go home, tell them us, of us and say, for your tomorrow, we give our today. Thank you. <laughs>